Hey guys, welcome to my new house. Uh, so I'm gonna do an uh, empty house tour today. So this is the front entrance when you first walk in. And as soon as we walk into the house, we have a guest bedroom right here. And we have a guest bathroom. So um, this is the, the guest bedroom looks like. Okay. Hmm? They still have to put a blind right here, so we still got to get a blind installed. And when you come in here, we have a closet. And I'm going to put a bed right here against this wall. A dresser right here. I'm going to put a chair right here. And on this wall, I'm going to put a, I'm sorry, I'm going to put a nice thing over there. And I'm gonna put the dresser right here for a guest. And the reason why I like to have the bedroom downstairs is because we get a lot of guests, a lot of out of town guests. And I think it's perfect for us to have our guests come over and they have their own space and they don't have to interfere with our living space. So if you come this way, okay, <laughs> if you come this way, you'll see this guest bathroom. So I have to get a shovel rod installed here. This has gray subway tile and it has gray quartz um, vanity. And it's just simple drawers and things like that. I'll probably install some shelves right here just to make it, you know, look nice. Dress it up with some flowers and things like that. Okay, so. If you come in, um, the house has plenty of open space and plenty of sunlight, which I absolutely love. This is a new construction, and um, we've been on the contract for about three months. When we purchased homes, we definitely wanted to get a new construction home. Um, this house was almost complete when we found it. We were going to get a house built from the ground up, but because this house had all of our must-haves, we went with this home. We are so in love with the home. And I do love this. I think it's called Tudor paneling um, because it definitely gives the house a very high end look. This is the dining room. And I'm going to take this chandelier out. I'm going to change it. I'm going to paint these walls. I'm going to add three really large, maybe four, three large mirrors right here and one large mirror right there just to make the space look much, much bigger. Um, add some curtains and probably get some beige, uh, beige um, table set here. So here is the fireplace. Oh my God, the fireplace is so beautiful. This is one of the reasons why I fell in love with it. Um, the mantle is just gorgeous. I really love the bricks. I'm not sure what you call this, but the bricks are so nice. They have a nice little sparkle to them. And, okay, it's not lighting. Probably gotta get the gas turned on to light, but in order to light the fireplace, you just uh, turn the light on right here. So as you can see, the house gets plenty of sunlight. And I really do love that because I can be in my home during the day and not have to turn on a single light. Um, even when it's gloomy outside, this house gets a lot of natural lighting, which I absolutely love. Um, another thing that I love about this house, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but I really love the view. Um, I really love the view. It takes the chaos of living in a more past paced environment and when you look out the window you just see this nice serene view of just a lot of woods and I absolutely love that. I love it. Honestly I love it because I'm a girl from the projects so I could definitely appreciate uh, a view like this. So here is our bed and I see us having a lot of dinners out here and entertaining a lot of guests out here. So, my husband's going to decorate the whole deck. We're probably going to put some furniture out here and put a grill on probably right here so we can 
grill. Um, I like to grill in the summertime. Grill um, our dinners and entertain guests when they come over and just want to sit outside. And honestly, I like having a deck on the second floor because when it's on the second floor, you don't have to worry about bugs um, and things like that. In our last house, um, I just didn't like sitting outside because it was a lot of bugs. But when you have a deck upstairs, that's something you don't have to worry about. So here is our beautiful kitchen. Um, like I said before, my must-haves were the house. This really had all of my must-haves. Um, and one of my must-haves was to have quartz countertops. This island is so beautiful. This island, when I walk in and I see the island and I see the fireplace, I'm like, this is the house. The island is gorgeous. I'm gonna add three chairs here. Um, because this is going to be our main eating area, um, I'm going to, I think the formal dining room, I'm going to work on that in the winter time. Um, but I really want to furnish some rooms first, and so I'm going to get three bar stools so we can all eat dinner. If a fourth bar stool fits here, I'll get a fourth, but for right now, I think three is perfect for our family. So, this, this um, kitchen has a lot of hidden cabinet compartments. The island has a cabinet on either side, and if you come over here, you'll see that it has this big, beautiful sink with this big, I don't know what you call this type of faucet, but the faucet is really pretty. So, yeah. And then the garbage disposal is right here, and then you have a, um, dishwasher right here which is hidden and I'm not going to have anything on my countertops, nothing out of my kitchen. I want it to stay looking like this. I'm just going to put some flowers right here and maybe a fruit basket but if we look under here, I already have a trash can I want to get installed under there as well as possibly a recycling bin just so I can keep everything out the way. There's some extra compartments here. We just got our fridge installed, I think today, today. Um, we just got our fridge installed. I really do love this fridge. Yeah. And more countertops. We have the subway tile. I'm not sure what you call this design, but I definitely wanted su subway tile. When we looked at the other houses, it's ironic because we were gonna go back to our last house and build it. Okay, so this is the stove that we have. I feel like when we first looked at the house, or maybe that was the model home, it had one of those things where you can fry, but um, I have to look for that. But it also has a microwave. A lot of the newer homes come with microwaves down here. So it has a microwave. It has a stove. I might get this wrong, a convention, a convention stove, a convection stove, no, yeah, convection stove, no, oven, it has two ovens, y'all, okay, so if you come in here, this is the mud room, um, I'm going to actually turn this into a coffee area, so this comes up, I'm going to add a coffee pot, I'm going to get some custom glass made here, so I don't ruin the shelves, um, just add some little nice little things to decorate this area and this is where we will keep our coats and our shoes because um, if you look you look at the floors um, the floors are engineered wood floors so shoes are not going to be allowed in this house so we'll just have a cubby to keep the shoes so they're not in the way and here is the pantry this pantry is a little bit smaller than our last house but what I really like about it is it has these really good shelves. It is really hard to find a pantry with built-ins. And I really like these built-ins in a pantry. So, this is our garage. We just got it pressure washed. So, yeah, that's what the garage looks like. Okay, so... Oh, that's the whole first floor. 
Um, we do have a full basement. I'll show you guys that um, after we come from upstairs. Upstairs, the harbor floor. You still get the harbor floor. Up the stairs. And it goes to these high ceilings, which I plan to get some paintings for the high ceilings. And when you walk into the upstairs, the first thing you see is this, um, some people call it a flex space, some people call it a loft. This is going to be our loft slash family room. So I'm going to put a couch up here. We're going to put a TV, uh, TV on the wall. And the couch that we're going to get is pretty big, so depending on the space, I may add a table, but we're also going to get an area rough for this area. And maybe later if we decide this room doesn't get the right amount of air, we'll add a ceiling fan. But this is the master. Pretty simple. Just a huge bedroom. But this is my favorite, absolute favorite room in the house. This is probably one of the best bathrooms that I've seen when we were picking out the house. So as you can see, when you walk in, you have this wall which separates the his side from my side. So we'll go to my side first. When you walk in, you'll see that it has this linen closet that has paint in it. <laughs> and on my side, there's two vanities, which I love because I have this side where I can, you know, brush my teeth and things like that. And I have this side, which is my vanity. So I'm going to get a chair. And this is where I'll be doing my makeup from now on. Before I was doing it in my bedroom. And it honestly makes the bedroom look so junky. So I'm really excited about that. Just a regular toilet. This beautiful tub. Look at this tub. The tub has the same towel around it which I really do love. And then the tub cascades into the um, shower, which also has a seat on it. And then if you look on this side of the bathroom, you'll see that it's his side. Um, so he has a place to groom himself, clip his hair, brush his teeth. Way more space than we had in our last bathroom because I pretty much took over the sink area. So um, he'll have his own side to himself. And here is our walk-in closet, which I plan to get custom built. I'm going to work on a custom building this closet next year um, after I fully finish the house because nobody's going to see this. Um, but this is our walk-in closet. Okay. So I know you guys are wondering, where is Summer's room? Summer's room is on the opposite side. Her room is closer than our last house. But here is her room. She has a pretty nice size room. And she has a Jack and Joe's bathroom, which I'll show you guys in a minute. But her closet is pretty big. And it has this little window in it. And this is the part of the room that I'm not so thrilled about. But I'm going to put a lock on this door. Um, because it has a little terrace when you walk outside. So, yeah. I'll, put, I'll be putting a lock on this door. As soon as we do it. That's like the first thing on the list. So, if you walk into here, this is going to be... Um, her her bathroom. She has all her bathroom stuff picked out. She's so excited. A bathtub, and since this is a Jack and Jill bathroom, it shares the bathroom with this room, which nobody else will be using. Um, it has another vanity right here for um this room. And then if you come in here, this is the smallest room in the house. This is going to be our office because, you know, we do a lot of work from home as well as our warehouse. So I'll probably, I'll probably put a desk on either side of the room. And I like to watch TV when I'm working, so we'll put a TV in here. One of our TVs from our old house. Oh, and it has a closet. I don't know what I'm going to put in this closet, but it has an extra closet. And then we have our laundry room which is right here on the second floor. 
Um, love the cabinets. And um, dryer goes there, washer goes there. I'm gonna get a utility sink built in. I mean, put in here. That's gonna be like within the first month of me moving in the house. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a utility sink. So that's the whole entire upstairs. There's an attic up, up there. Let's go down to the basement. That was on top of the the fireplace, the kitchen, and the bathroom. All of those were my must-haves. The basement was the must-have on our list because my husband really wants to have his Medicaid. So he's gonna do the entire basement. So we'll keep you updated on the progress of our house as we go along. But here's the basement. This basement also gets a lot of natural lighting, which I also do appreciate. Um, so, yeah. So here is what our unfinished basement looks like. So we're gonna get a contractor in. Once we move in, um, this has a, this has a, um, Fireplace. Are you keeping the fireplace? Okay, so we're not keeping the fireplace. That's going to get torn down. I know he wants to tear down this wall, but he's going to put a column right here and a column right here, right? Okay, so we're going to put two columns. And then I believe he wants to knock down this wall as well, right? Okay, so he wants to knock down this wall and he wants to put a whole theater down here. And we'll get a bathroom right here so we're gonna have a theater down here we're gonna have a bathroom right there and he wants to put a, project a projection screen against that wall he also wants to add the steps for the theater so you can kind of come up um, he wants to put a pool table over here so turn this into like a little game room and then um, he wants to add a bar the bar is gonna go back there right Okay, so he hasn't decided where the bar is going to go. Okay. So my battery cut off, so I don't know where I was at. But, um, so we're going to put a game room right here. So he's going to have his pool table, things like that. And then, and he's not sure yet, but we'll, we're going to um, add a bar. We're not sure where we're going to add a bar, but, but there's going to be a bar down here. And he's going to, I know he wants a lot of open space, so we're going to knock down as many walls as we can just so that we can get that open space in. Except for here, we'll probably put a closet right here because, I mean, everything right there has to stay in the house. So if you come back, we have a yard. And then our yard is not that big, but I mean, that's at the end of for you because you don't get a huge yard. Um, but here's our yard pretty simple we i'll probably put another table down there another, another patio set down there i wanted to add a sink sit a swing set but I'm, i don't think it's leveled enough i'll have to see but i know summer's definitely gonna want to play with her friends outside so i'll see what i can do about that But there's also a lot of um, blinds as well. So we'll go back upstairs. And I think the basement is really is what topped off the house.